Good morning everybody, welcome along to one of a dozen. Today is our weekly grocery haul vlog. So I'm gonna give you a quick view of it. Now there it is. I will just say that we actually did this yesterday. We put some groceries away, we had to get them back out and some food's already been eaten. But we'll go through that as we go. Yeah, so just for yesterday is when we picked it up. It was, for us, it was a pretty dead day. We're yeah, just so- just recovering from a bit of a migraine. Yeah, so yesterday was kind of like a, just a washout. So we, I put away all the cold and the frozen, but I left pretty much everything else. I put some of the other stuff away, but left pretty much everything else out. Um, so we've got it all back out. So you will see some partially eaten food. Usually when we do that, we just don't bother doing a grocery haul, but I got such a good deal this week, I wanted to share it. This whole grocery haul costs $366.72, something like that. Um, and I got 10% off with my discount. So that was $36 something off. And then the 3% gift cards are still available on the Everyday Rewards app. So I got another $10 off. So we got $56 off this whole haul. $320 we paid. $320 for 366 or yep. whatever it was. Um, about 67, yeah. So that's, that's a huge saving. And also got 5,000 and something points. I'll show you that later. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, shall we start? Yeah. Um, so this week we're doing a lot of slow cooker meals because I find I don't feel very good in the evenings. So if I put something in the slow cooker in the morning, I'll be fine. It'll be ready to go in the evening, so that will be good. However, this week is also a different week because there's only really three days of school. Then there's Anzac Day and Friday is a curriculum day for the boys. So it's also Sevi's birthday on Wednesday and my birthday on Friday. So those meals aren't in here because- And it's our here. wedding anniversary. It's our wedding anniversary on Wednesday as well, which is already included in Sevi's birthday, as in we're already eating out that night. So- It's an exciting week coming up. Yeah, well, I'm the one turning 41, but- <laughs> Hey, I'm already 46. <laughs> well, I'm doing four slow cooker meals and then the rest of the week we've got things out. Cool. So yeah. Speaking of slow cooker meals, tonight we're having pumpkin soup. So we've got two butternut pumpkins, one lettuce, one little pack of red grapes, and one pack of green grapes. I don't know if someone ate them or if that's how that came. I think um, there's been some eaten. Good. Uh, one little 500 grams of trust tomatoes, and two of these, a couple of the Recipes call for two red capsicums, but I just really like these better and they're much better price So two packets of these one pineapple. We got one the other week and it was delicious So Sebi we loves pineapple yeah. too, doesn't he? It was so nice. Yeah uh, Then we've got some pears Odd bunch pears two odd bunch apples three kids packs of bananas We've got some coriander for a couple of the dinners and some spring onion also a big, I think this was a two kilo brown onions. A couple of red chilies. Three limes. I think I ordered two, but they probably gave me three because two little small. ones. Yep. We unpacked <laughs> these already, so it's just a bunch of apples, mandarins, and a lemon. And there were some pears as well. Something? Pears are here. Oh yeah, we've got the pears. Yep. Uh, kiwi fruit, plums, cucumbers that aren't looking that great, but I'm sure they'll be fine. We just cut the skin off. So that's all for the fresh food. We don't get juice very often, so this week we just got some juice, some orange juice, apple juice, apple and mango juice. These flavours are like $2.80 and the orange juice is like $3.30. So they mm. used to always be the same price, but now the orange juice is more. Also got some cordial this week, just the no added sugar cordial. And that's the cheapest brand to get. I just got some dried fruit this week for the lunch boxes. So apples, bananas, and apricots. Although I'm probably going to make some apricot balls out of these ones as well. Got some desiccated coconut, some bicarb soda, and some corn flour. I bought some shortbread biscuits to make some hedgehog slices, with, but they've given us shortbread creams. So uh, I'll just, we'll just have biscuits in the house for a little bit. Yeah. We don't normally get bickies like no, biscuits like don't. that, do we? We used to a lot, like years ago. We used we to have a biscuit tin, and we got um, Arnott's assorted creams every week. Yeah, yeah. We don't get them at all anymore. No, because they just kept eating them too fast. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be there for a coffee or if visitors came over. 
but yeah. they were just gone the next they day. Just get, <laughs> they just get scoffed. Yeah. So when we do get biscuits, usually they're like dry biscuits now, aren't they? Like, um, yeah, like from or the bakery or, jats. Of, or from the bakery section, like the Hanzo biscuits and that. Like the, like, like bakery made. Yeah. 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 I bought a big packet of Louis Easter eggs for $2, but they didn't have them. So they gave us these. Which I wouldn't have bought for two dollars, but mm. that's okay. I should have clicked on "Don't substitute for those." Can you click on "Don't substitute for, in, for individual yeah. items"? Oh yeah, right. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah. And then these were half price, so I really enjoy these nut bars: chocolate nut bars, peanut and almond. And oh, I didn't realize I got yogurt. I'm not really a fan of the yogurt ones. <laughs> sure, other people in the house will be. I'll go. Someone will eat them big box of cornflakes because that's what everyone's into at the moment mm. and these home brand ones are fine yeah is it i can't taste any difference rolled oats ebony likes them particularly for breakfast but i also got them to make some anzac slice this week for lunch boxes yeah. it's anzac day coming up yeah that just is a coincidence so ton of brands half price this is violet helping yep. to put it away yep <laughs> LCMs I got for the school lunch boxes, but we didn't hide them in time. There's like five left. <laughs> They're super popular. Three little ones just get into these. So we need to hide them straight away or else. Yes. There should be just enough left still because it's only three days of school. Yep. Then we've got the five bottles of milk. Five times three. Yep. Yeah, we've already started one. Start on that one. I only got two loaves of bread this week because... It's a short school week and we don't use a whole lot of bread at home except for toast. And there's still some in the freezer. Yeah, there's still lots in the freezer. Yeah, don't bring Someone it. got into this, I'm guessing you. Well, I don't want to admit to it. That's for the soup tonight. I, you know what it was? I wanted to ha have some of my dip that you got me last week, the spicy capsicum dip. And there wasn't any dry biscuits to have with it, so I took a couple of pieces of that bread. Yeah, she took the edges. Yeah, I just took the edges. I thought that left the main part of the bread. Yeah. <laughs> We've got three packets of English muffins. I'm going to make some pizza muffins for the lunch boxes and for lunch today. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, I like so them. three of those. One tub of Greek yogurt. We use this for all sorts of things, so it's good to always have. So Greek yogurt goes really well with, I often see the kids and even you sometimes having it with um, frozen um, fruit berries. and we berries. We have berries and honey and chia seeds or else... It also goes in some of the um, slow cooker meals I'm making this week. So oh. it's just very versatile. It goes in sweet or savoury things. Mm. Then we've got all this. Two tins of pineapple pieces. We were making sweet and sour pork. Mm. Two tins of coconut milk. Two tins of crushed tomatoes. Two tins of coconut cream. What's with all the coconut this week? Coconut, desiccated slow coconut. Slow cooker meals. Co desiccated coconut over there. Coconut yep. milk and coconut cream. Well, I plan on vlogging all the slow cooker meals, so you'll see. Okay. We've got a Thai yellow curry paste. One recipe needed red, one needed yellow, but it's not cheap, so I'm just going to do yellow for both. We've got some Rogan Josh paste. Paste. Then we've got some golden syrup. Some pizza sauce for the muffins today. Some tomato sauce just because we're out and it was a point steal. Soy sauce because we're having a couple of rice dishes this week. Here's the chicken for our chicken and mango. And here is two packets of extra lean diced beef for beef stew. Got one olive oil spread. We've still got heaps of spreads in the fridge, but I'm gonna do a little bit of baking, so I wanted to make sure I had heaps. One kilo of cheese, just the usual cheese. Yep. Salami for the pizza muffins we're making today. Pork, I actually bought two of these. Two of these ones. The sizzle steak ones. Member price two for fifteen. Yep. But they must have only had one left, so they substituted with this. The steaks. Which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, well it's they're thicker and it's a bit better quality, yeah. A bit better quality, which is why they're ten dollars and they were only eight. Yeah. Yeah. Two, four, six, yeah. So that'll work well. Yeah. Then over here the frozen stuff. We've got some plant based chicken for a couple of vegetarian substitutes throughout the week. Yep. Frozen cauliflower. I think I meant to get two packets, but we'll see how we go. I'll grab another one if I need it. Some frozen peas and some frozen mangoes. Some cat food for Lolly. We don't usually get the cat food in the grocery haul, but we happen to this week. Yep. Some kids shampoo and conditioner. The cuddly fabric conditioner was half price, so I've pitched that up. The radiant. 
laundry detergent was half price as well. Awesome. Just the usual toilet paper that we get. Yep. And there's a point steal for 600 points if you spent $15 on hair care. Mm. So I bought myself these. These are also 120 points each on top of the 600 points. Yep. $6 each. Uh, my hair is so dry just at the front bits here. Mm. It's like there's just a couple of dry patches here. So I wanted to try and get the Moroccan oil. Oh, the Moroccan oil. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then also to make it $15, this was half price. And that's for dry hair as well. So we got 840 points by getting those three things. Mm. And that's all we got. Let me just show you my points. There was one thing we didn't get and they gave us a $1 refund. So that's how much it was. That's how many points we got. But if you go to the receipt, you can see we paid $3.28, but remember I bought the gift voucher for $3.20. There we go. Nearly 6,000 points for all of that, which is nearly 3,000 Qantas points. Pretty happy with that haul. And I'm gonna put the pumpkin soup on now, so we'll just show you how we do that. You can cut the pumpkin up, because I don't, I don't do well cutting things like this. Okay. As the scars on my fingers show. <laughs> So we have two chopped up pumpkins, two chopped up onions, and four chopped up carrots. I'm gonna make some vegetable stock to put in it. The recipe does call for chicken stock, but we wanna make it vegetarian friendly for Ebony. So I'm just gonna make some of this up to add to it as well. And then we'll put it all in the slow cooker with a few other ingredients. We've got all our veggies in the slow cooker. I'm gonna put in two 400 ml tins yeah. of coconut milk. I'm gonna put four teaspoons of the yellow curry paste in. I've made up four litres of the veggie stock, so I'm going to put that in and then see how much room is left. I might just make up two more cups and see if that fits. Now we're going to cook that on low for six hours. So we'll come back tonight and finish it off and show you how it is. Mm. It's been six hours. The aroma is just really nice and it's really It'd be so much easier if we had a stick blender, but we don't. So we're going to have to scoop it out and blend it bowl by bowl. <laughs> it smells really nice. It's Thai pumpkin soup. Thai pumpkin soup, okay. Remove from here, place in here, and like then... Like I said, if you had a stick blender, you'd just go... Yeah, stick yeah, blender, yeah, that would there, make some sense, but we don't we have, have one. one a little while ago, broke. Yeah. Yep. And the 
juice of a lime. And the recipe also says a couple of tablespoons of fish sauce. We're not really vegetarian, so we won't be adding the fish sauce. It's not very thick. Probably do less stock next time. Mm -hmm. Not a fan traditionally of pumpkin soup, as I'm not a fan of pumpkin, but I think I like this stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite. I've, I've dipped my bread. It's actually very nice, and I'm gonna eat this whole bowl, I think.